Hello everyone, it's Lau and super exciting news for DQR 2020. Kinda. <laughs> it's not actually the real season, but the All-Stars movie from 2020 was announced and we have a trailer, we have an official website, and we have this amazing, beautiful artwork that we, we can see here. Um, this movie was announced today and it's going to be called Purikua Miracle Leap. One Mysterious Day with Everyone. I love this name, Purikua Miracle Leap. It would work wonders in a season, in an actual season, but it's just the name of the movie. This movie is going to contain Hug to Purikua, Star Twinkle Purikua, and 2020 Purikua that we don't know the name yet. So we do have a trailer, and in this trailer we can see the Star Twinkle girls in space, you know, those powerful faces and we can also see the Hugto girls transforming and we can see a clock going around and something will happen. Something is going to happen to our girls and they're going to be in a distress because one thing they say in the trailer and is in the website is the Hugto and the Star to Winkle girls have been sent into a spiraling panic. How nice is that? I mean it doesn't say much but it does give us a hint that this is going to be a very fun movie. It's time for us to say goodbye to Kira Kira Purikua. We won't see them I this time. They won't be present. And so far we have 10 cures and this artwork looks superb. I love it. I really love it. And lots of people have been talking and noticing that probably it's Ita Oka that did this drawing. Ita Oka is very popular and he does an amazing work with Purikua. He works in transformation scenes and animation, in animating transformation and attack scenes. He is like one of the Purikua masters. And if he's going to work in this movie, we can expect something amazing. He is key animator in lots of different Purikua episodes, lots of different Purikua memorable moments. So this is a big thing. And one of the things I really like about this drawing is how different the girls look. Like we've been used to the Star Twinkle girls drawn in a way, but in this drawing, they all look very different. Apart from Cure Star that looks basically the same. I think that Cure Celine looks the most different out of everyone. I really like how the way her dress is drawn. It's very beautiful. I really like it. Uh, Cure Soleil as well. She looks very powerful, but graceful as she always is. Look at Cure Cosmo. Come on, Cure Cosmo, her hair, um, her dress, like the pose, everything about her is gorgeous. Cure Miyuki is down here. She's kind of hidden in this picture, but she also looks amazing. Cure Star with her bright face, just with Cure Yell as well. It's the same vibe. Amur and Mashiri holding hands. Oh my God, this is so cute. I love both of them so much. Cure Anje being Cure Anje and Cure Etoile being Cure Etoile because Cure Etoile, she always looks badass. And I really like the poses they give her. Like, look at that. Just look at that. She is so elegant. And I really love seeing her in this pose. And I think that apart from this picture being really beautiful, I get really happy that I am a Purikua fan in times like these because, come on, this picture looks awesome, beautiful, 100% beautiful. I absolutely love it. And apart from that, we can see a clock in the background. This yellow thing here kind of reminds me of Sweet Purikua when the, the, the tones, they enter the, the modules. Don't you think it kind of resembles that? But I think that the most important thing for us to look at right now is this image right here, which is the movie logo. We can see the name of the movie and in it we can see two interesting things that are related to clocks. One of them is this heart-shaped thingy with a clock in the middle and the other one is this clock right here that looks like those pocket, like those pocket watches, watches. And let's just go back in time a little bit and let's remember how it was last year. 
last year we had the Star Twinkle Purikiwa announcement. We had the the trademark filing in Japan and we saw the Star Twinkle logo. We didn't know what the season was about, even though we had theories, we had ideas. That's fine. But then we had the announcement of Miracle Universe, which was the All Stars movie for 2019 that contained Kira Kira Purikiwa, Hokuto Purikiwa, and Star Twinkle Purikiwa. In this movie, like when the movie was announced, we had the announcement of the name of Star Twinkle, but we didn't have the announcement of the cures. We didn't see the cures at that time. We didn't know about them. We had fake leaks, like we're probably gonna have this year, and I'm very excited to see them because I love fake leaks. But let's go back. I always lose track of what I'm saying. Last year, we saw uh, Miracle Universe being announced without having the cures for Star Twinkle. We didn't know them. But we did know something very, very peculiar. In Miracle Universe, we had the logo of the movie and we had a little planet there, a green planet, if I remember correctly. The green planet at the side of it quickly reminded us that universe, planets, Traveling in space, or even space, could be a theme for Star Twinkle Purikiwa. So yes, the movie gave us a hint about the theme of the season. It might be the case this time. You know, we might be seeing a hint of what's to come in 2020 Purikiwa. It might not be the case. It might, like, the theme of 2020 might be something completely different, like, I don't even know flowers again like we could see a different theme like time like very different from time you know but if we look at this logo and we like to theorize i like to theorize a lot at least you know i don't know about you guys i think you guys do as well so let's theorize a little bit if we're, t we're if we're talking about clock if we're talking about time we can quickly think about time travel but we had time travel in hukto two years ago, like next year, it's going to be two years ago. So it's very close for them to repeat the same theme. Even though Hakuto worked with other themes in the season, like um, occupations and what do you want to be? Who do you want to be? That's basically what, wh what the main Hakuto theme. So, uh, but, I, but time travel was still a thing in Hakuto. And I don't think they are going to repeat that. So, when I did a video on the possible themes for 2020, one thing I talked about was detectives because of Oshieta Twinkle. I analyzed the lyrics and I gave my opinion on what we could expect from 2020 based on the lyrics of Oshieta Twinkle. And I feel like those pocket watches, there's something that a lot of detectives use and that's a very um, big symbol of detectives. So maybe we're on to something. We're on to something on this detective theme. I don't know. I don't think this watch thing works with the Phantom Thieves theme. I don't think it does. So if we're having a hint of what's to come in the actual season, I don't think it's going to work. But I have seen lots of people in the Purikua fandom talking about a peculiar and interesting theme. Trains. I honestly, like I'm going to be very honest, I really don't see this working in Purikua and that's why I would love to see this as a theme. One person that talked about it before anyone else is Asterisk. He is a YouTuber. He does videos here on YouTube about Yu-Gi-Oh! and some other card games. And he also talks about Purikua. And he did a video on his, his po the possible themes for 2020. And he gave his opinion on a season about trains. Honestly, I never thought about something like that. I could never come up with a theme like that. But it would work because, you know, th those people that work on trains, they always have to be on time. They always have to constantly check the time. And so it would work perfectly. It would work perfectly. So if you guys would like more intel on that, I am going to leave the link 
for the asterisk video on the description box and also on the pinned comment so that you can go and check it out. Steampunk can also be something that's related to watch. I don't know, but I'm very curious. I'm very, very curious. Towers, maybe? There is so much to think about. I think that after we had this reveal, we're very, very close to the reveal of the, at least of the name of 2020 Puritua. So we're going to see the logo pretty soon. I think that the logo is uh, arriving this Monday, if not next Monday, because I don't think they're going to file a trademark in November. They always happen in October. So this month, we're gonna know 2020 Puritua name. So I'm excited. Anyways, if you'd like to check out the trailer for the movie, it's also going to be on the description box together with the movie website so that you can go and look for it. Anyways, guys, that was it. Please leave your opinions about this amazing artwork. What do you expect for Purikua Miracle Leap? I'm very excited for the movie and I'm very excited to see more of 2020 Purikua as well. I'm very, very curious. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye-bye.